Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in Nevmo Capsula. Pnevmo Capsula? Nevmo Capsula. Whichever way, that's what it's called. So it's a very intriguing adventure puzzle game developed by Pomeshkin Valentin Igorovich, published by Sometimes You, and is usually available for £4.19 slash $4.99, and will be released tomorrow on the Octo on October 18th, 2022. So we play as Towley. Wanna get a little high? No, 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 sorry, wrong one. Uh, no, we play as a small trolley, sorry. That's close enough. <laughs> And it's our job to deliver mail in a utopian atom punk world. It is a lot more entertaining than the premise just sounded, honestly. Uh, there are a few, few puzzles, good achievements, all around it is a great little game. Now as for achievements, a lot are story related. A few more you will get from doing five uh, Postmaster puzzles. And that's, well, that's pretty much about it. You just can't beat it. So all in all, you'll be looking at around 20 to 30 minutes to get it done. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And of course, as always, we will be starting a new game, because that is how you generally start a new game. Um, in terms of controls, you know, quite very easy enough. All we're doing for the majority is pressing up and down on the left stick. You can press the X button to go a little faster, and we start immediately here. Now what you're going to see is like these little electro things here. So if you press and hold the A button, you will eventually start electric conicuting some electrics. Then you can just keep pressing up on the left stick. Stay here onto this next one, press and hold the A button again. And that's going to, basically it ends up moving the track. So as you can see, it just moved the track up. Go up to this next part and just press and hold the A button again. To uh, get the next bit going and then fall to your absolute demise. And that's it, game end, 1000. <laughs> oh, if only it was that easy. Now, nah, so what we're doing then again, like I said, you just keep going, uh, head up, and now press and hold the A button on this electric execution part. Sometimes it can be a bit finicky, you do have to get it, <coughs> excuse me, sort of spot on. But that again, as you can see, put the train tracks down so we can move on. So all you're doing, like I said, you can press the X button here to go faster. Um, and that's it in terms of uh, button prompts and things like that. It's very, very easy. Um, but that is, like I said, that is what we'll be doing for the majority of the game then. We'll just be uh, getting train tracks up and down. Again, you don't need to press left or right, it's only up and down. And this is the first Postmaster achievement, so get right under it, press and hold the A button. Again, if it doesn't work, try and get sort of as close to it as you can, or sort of right underneath it, and it'll eventually go in like this. And, again, uh, it's easier on these puzzles if you uh, press left and right up and down on the D-pad. So make sure that the power is switched on with the power button at the top. And then the first code that we need to put up, again, by clicking left and right on the D-pad and then up and down, will be 5520. So 5520, then you can click, you have to press up on the D-pad when you click on send, by the way, and that will get us our first Postmaster achievement. So, the directions are there, but your immediate thing is to just go ahead and press the A button, isn't it? But yes, for the majority of the puzzles as we continue and go into the second chapter here, you won't be pressing A, you will be pressing um, up. That is the um, <laughs> basically the easiest way that I can describe that. So, as we begin the second chapter, get your electric electrocution here on this first uh, sort of... I'll just call it wires, I'll just call it wires, that'll do. And that'll get you another achievement right there. So obviously that is pretty much unmissable. So just keep on heading forward. And then what we're going to do, we're going to come up to another set of wires that we're going to press A. Here it is. So press the A button sort of close to the middle as you can there. Job done. That's going to get us up. And we can go all the way around. So just keep going up. And then what we're going to do, there are three things we're going to electroconicute here. These speakers. So I, I know it's electrocute, but for some reason uh, electroconicute is just more hilarious. So the speakers first, or whatever they are supposed to be, then the thing next to it kind of looks like that tickly thing that you can put on your head to make your to make your neck look like a milk bottle when you drop it. And finally the thing next to it, which is basically just a big water dispenser thing. So as long as you've got all three going, now you can press down on the left stick to start going backwards, as you can imagine. And then when we get to the wires here, we are going to press and hold the A button again. I'll get rid of the track and we can go underneath it. So this is um, another puzzle then for the second Postmaster. So again, press and hold the A button here. Make sure to switch the lever on 
so that it is on. So again, you'll have to press up on the D-pad, then click right in the D-pad, and on the three red buttons, um, all you've got to do then, again, is just press up. You need to press up on the D-pad on all three buttons to basically get it to work. I kept pressing the A button, going absolutely mad, and wondering why it wasn't working. But you have to press the A button. And then you can go on the send right there. Again, pressing up on the D-pad rather than A. And that will get the postmaster sent and that puzzle complete. So, slightly forward again, pressing and holding the A button. And then we're going to need to turn the power on and put in another code. So... Make sure to turn the power on, and then the code that we need to pick is 7934. So that's 7934. Again, make sure that you put the power on uh, in the top left-hand corner right there. And then we can press send, and that will get us postmaster 2 out of 5. That achievement's done. Fun on the burn. It's our fun on the burn. And that's going to turn these bits of wires green in order for us to progress. So now we can go backwards. And we can keep on heading backwards. Until we're basically here right at back at the beginning. And we're going to press the A button right next to these wires to continue. So let's go. This time we can head straight up more or less. Basically finishing this chapter. So now we're already technically on to chapter 3. And this is where it can look even more slightly confusing and a bit more complicated but again it's generally not that bad so this first set of wires we're going to electrocute here so make sure to do that and then we can go back to go sort of up and then what we need to do then very carefully go to the edge and press and hold the a button here to get rid of this light so this is basically the main mechanic of the game we'll be going around just getting rid of light bulbs pretty much that's harsh right uh go to the next wires press the a button and then once again, we can start heading up. So go backwards and up. Uh, press A on these next set of wires. And that's going to allow us to go up even more. We're going to press A to go onto this next set of wires. Now, apologies about the confusion. What you're meant to do is go to this next wire, press the A button, and then go forward and hit the light bulb. Uh, so I do apologize. I do. I will go back down in just a second as soon as I realize my mistake. So I do apologize about that. So it's the next wire that we were on. Press the A button, the track will go up, allowing us to go straight forward. Ah, oh, damn it. It will get there eventually, but you are supposed to just get the track. There it is. So as long as the track goes up, we can go forward to get rid of this light bulb. Again, mega apologies there. Um, I did mess up, and I do apologize about the confusion. Now we can go back to this wire. Now we can start heading back up. And, with and we can just keep going straight, 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 and hit this next set of wires, the one at the very end. Now we can go backwards and go down, down like Charlie Brown. Hit this next set of wires as well. And we can go forward and slap the light bulb with your big nugget. Oosh! Get that down, you Charlie Brown! Or something or other. So go back and on this next set of wires again, electrocute that so we can head right the way back up. And do the same with this next set of wires. Right the way back up. Backwards yourself. Keep going up, keep going until you hit this one right at the top. Hit this, and that allows us to go up once more. Keep going back, and you're going to see this set of wires we're going to hit as well. That allows us to go up once again, all the way basically to the top. Hit this next set of wires, and we can continue on forward. So hit this next set of wire again, and that allows us to go up. Up and add them, and there we go then. So, the Master of Intricate Labyrinths. Brilliant achievement names, by the way. Really fantastic. So, hit this wire first then, again. This is the next set that we're going to get rid of. And that is going to allow us to go up rather than down. So, we're going to come into this little sort of puzzle area again. So, press and hold the A button here next to this lever. Press the left on the D-pad so that the lever is pointing to the left. Then, just press and hold the A button again to get out of it. And go backwards ever so slightly until you see this sort of uh, next gear cog. Press and hold the A button again. That'll open up this little secret trap door. <laughs> Keep going forward and we see this little red button we can hit. Skablamo! That also gets us the locksmith keeper achievement as well. And this is where the third postmaster is. You thought it was something entertaining? It's a newspaper. Yeah. Right, anyway. Um, no puzzle 
this time around on this, all we're doing is inputting the code, and that code is 4509. So that is 4509. Remember, of course, to put the power on as well. And then once again, put in the code there, 4509. Press up on the D-pad there for send. And that's going to be Postmaster 3 out of 5 already. So the achievements do come sort of quick, uh, sort of uh, quick and fast until the sort of last three chapters. And then there's only one left to get, and that's for completing the game. So after this, we can head all the way back, press the A button here on this, uh, on these wires. And that is going to allow us to go straight forward rather than up. So keep on going, and we are basically heading into the next chapter anyway. Plus, we're going to get another two achievements coming at you quick enough. Fat guy loves pie. <laughs> and that's me. I'm that fat guy. So, Newspaper Town, or Newspaper Avenue, sorry. And we are here at the next Postmaster. So again, it's just a code, and this time that code is 8882. So that's 8882. 8882. 8882 8882 8, 8, 8, 2. Power on, press send 8882 And that is Postmaster number 4 out of 5 And now I'm gonna shut my trap So hi oh, yeah Right, so after that bit's done We are now able to go forward So slam it on Big John Whoever Big John is And for the final time, give it a round of applause for Postmaster 5 out of 5! And the last code that we're going to put then is 8191. So 8191, power on, make sure it's on, press send. That'll be the last Postmaster that we're going to do. In fact, this is the last achievement that we're going to get until we actually finish the rest of the game. So don't worry if you won't see anything pop in sort of for the next 10 minutes or so. That's yeah, just fine. Right, so these next couple of levels are biggies, and it can be kind of hard to see your uh, little tram train trolley bro. So don't worry about that, just uh, y you can kind of see him. But for now, we're just going to keep on heading going straight. We're going for the first light bulb here. There it is. So, of course, press and hold the A button. Be careful, we're going to keep going straight forward, but you can easily, easily fall off the edge. So make sure to go very, very carefully. And then just keep on pressing and holding the A button so that you actually stop quite close to it. And there we go. So that's that one at the very top again. It's so easy to fall off there, so be careful. Head all the way back down. And whee! It actually looks hilariously fun. And hit this first wire here. That will enable us to go down. Again, sometimes because it's hard to see, it can be kind of finicky there. But we're going to head down. We're going to head up and hit this next wire. That, once again, will enable us to keep going down. So down, 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 down. Here's Charlie Brown. Hit the light bulb, bro. So smash the light bulb. That will get that one done. Now we can head uh, back on ourselves, And then we can keep on going straight through here. Up and, up and Adam. Up and Adam. Up and Adam. And just keep on going. And again, it's so difficult to sort of see where you are, but... We are going to keep going and hit this next wire just to the right of the glowing uh, glowing track. That's what you want. So now we can head down. And now what we're going to do is hit the next wire, which is just to the left of this piece of glowing track. And then we can keep on going straight and hit this next light bulb. I'm going to tell you what, if, if you've got a small screen, I do feel sorry for you right now because I am squinting like a bintin'. So hit this next wire, this will uh, order in order for us to go back up. And then what we're going to do is just keep going straight. Man, I'm actually knackered just watching uh, things going up. That's the fat guy pie in me, to be fair. And then we can see another piece of glowing track with another bit of wire, but we're going straight past it, so head straight. And you can see a blue light bulb that we're going to nugget our way out of. So kablamo marge. So smash that one, Keep and then head back. And then we're just going to head back. And right next to this wire, next, just to the right of the glowing track, is the next wire we're going to electrocute. That's going to get us going down, 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 down. And from here, then, we can just keep uh, hitting this next wire. Sorry, we can hit this next wire just to the left there of the glowing track. And that will keep us going straight. So now we can go straight ahead. So up. I mean, there's not a lot else going on right now. 
You think it could get faster, couldn't you? But it's actually not going to. So keep on heading, keep on heading. And you see this piece of glowing track right here. This is where we are going to hit the wire this time. So don't go too far. We're going to hit this wire. Sort of right in the middle of the screen right there. That'll get us going down once again. And we can see another piece. But we're going to go straight to get this light bulb. But first, again, be very careful. Very easily you can fall off. So hit the light bulb. And then we can head down. And then what we're going to do then is just keep going straight back up. There we go, keep going, keep going, keep going. This is where it can get slightly confusing, by the way. But we're gonna just get again, we are just going to keep going because there is a little light bulb right here that we're gonna grab first. So let's grab this one. There is the uh the white one at the top is where we are. We are in the middle track right now. Again, this can be very confusing. So when we head back down, we are gonna keep going straight back down. And then we're going to hit this wire again, right in the middle of the screen, the piece of glowing track. Hit that one. That will order us uh, to go back down. And as we go back down here, we're going to hit this next wire. Just to the left of the glowing track. That, that'll get us on the bottom piece of track. Apple bottom jeans. Which with the fur. She got the whole trolley looking at her newspaper. Uh, hit the blue light anyway. And that's all. That's Murder, She Wrote. That's definitely all Murder, She Wrote, because the woman who played her is now gone. She has deceased. Uh, sorry, I was just I'm talking about British crap. Sorry, Americans and everyone else. So, uh, hit this next wire anyway, just to the left of the glowing track right there. And that, uh, we're in, in order for us to head back up. And there we go. And then just keep going, keep going. And we're going to hit this next wire. Just to the right of this glowing track, that will get us going up towards the top one right now. Hit this next wire. And that, and we, when we go straight, we can start heading up to the top track. I'm sorry, I do talk about uh, British TV shows and stuff, stuff a lot, don't I? You know, expecting everyone to get it when uh, it's normally just a bunch of crap. Anyway, this is the seventh chapter. And this one, again, can be slightly confusing, but it's just a bunch of codes that we've got to input. So, what you need to do is press the uh, press up on the D-pad to turn it on. Press the A button. There are two, like, little switches you can use. When you press up, you can press up and you can press right or left in order to change the code. So, if you press up, you can get it up to 7. And if you press right or left on the D-pad, you can put it up to 6. Press the A button again to get to the smaller red one. And... Well, again, you can press up on the D-pad to change and right or left on the D-pad to change the numbers as well. So the first one's going to be 7632. When you've got 7632, press and hold the A button to get off it. Go back slightly until you're underneath this little, uh, what looks like picture thing. And then you can press up or down on the D-pad in order to get rid of this first picture. So that's pretty much all we're doing uh, for the entirety of this seventh chapter. So, after this is done, you'll automatically go onto this screen, and now we need to start inputting another code. So, again, hold the A button to go onto it. Make sure to press the A button to go over to the first, um, I can't tell if that's black or grey, uh, the darker of the switch, is it? Anyway, and make sure that it is 7921. Uh, so, 7921, and then when you've got 7921, head back towards yourself. Press and hold the A button, and immediately you can just press uh, up or down on the D-pad to get rid of the picture. Um, but again, that little puzzle sort of confused me first, only because it was <laughs> between pressing up and left on the D-pad and uh, flicking between two switches, but it's easy enough. So again, uh, go into the switch. When we start with the darker one again, remember you can press up and you can press left to change the first two numbers. So we're leaving it at 7-6. Go to the red one. And make sure it is on 7621. So 7621. And then you can go ahead and press up and down on the D-pad. Or press up or down on the D-pad. That'll get rid of this next picture. And then we can <laughs> go for it again. So this time around then, the code's going to be 7900. So again, of course, with the darker one first. Which, um... Oh, well, it doesn't matter which one you, you choose, but it, as long as it says 7900, then we can back out. 
eventually. There we go. So back out again, press and hold the A button, press up or down on the D-pad, that'll get rid of this next picture. And then the final one, the final code anyway, is going to be 7522. So 7522, and then as soon as you've done that and you've got the last picture, we can now just keep going forward and start the final chapterino. Neighborino. So, what we're going to do then is keep blasting. You're going to see some wires, but we're going to blast straight past it first. We will be uh, using that a little bit later on. So, straight, keep going down. Again, this one is another big one, just like chapter 6, so it can be slightly confusing. But there are two wires that we're going to grab first, or two light bulbs to get rid of. So, there's this first one. The second one's directly in front of you. Uh, we obviously cannot reach the third one just yet, so we've got to get rid of a couple bunch more lights. So, let's just keep heading back for now. And when we see it, there's the first wire that we got went past earlier on. Now we are going to actually electroconicute that snuff. And that's going to, in order for us to go down, hit this next set of wires as well. And that will get us going down once more. And it's a bit squiggly wiggly, old old chiggly. And we're going through some um, pipe work as well, which is just more entertaining. Uh, but just keep going, keep going, of course. And hit this next wire as well, just before you get through the pipe. Again, and go backwards. That will order us to go basically up and hit this next light bulb. So slappity bappity, that one. And then we can just go straight. What we're going to do from here, though, we are going to hit this next set of wire again. So hit that one, and that will get us going back through the same pipe that we just went through. So sort of back... Uh, back on yourself again. There it is. And we're just going to keep heading up. And we are going to hit this wire. That is going to reverse the train track. And we can keep going straight this time. Just straighten up. Up the old straighten up. We're going to see this next set of wires. We are going to hit this one as well. So make sure to do that. And what that will do then is let us to go down. Down, down once again. And hit this next light bulb. So again, break that light bulb off, and that's all good. Now we can start going back on ourselves and head back. Uh, don't worry about the wire. We'll just keep going straight for now. Or straight back, anyway. Back it up, baby. Back up that tang. Back it up, back it up. Hit this wire, then. And that, of course, will get the um, train track going up, so we can go back down. So, so this level is definitely kind of sort of back and forth and it has to be done in this order because there are certain light bulbs that you can't get through so here we are then at the wire but for now we are going to hit this one again uh, for now we are going to hit this one and then go straight once again to the light bulb that we got earlier on but we are going to keep going straight into a new various location we haven't been yet maybe don't even know where we are right now oh okay there we are so easy to lose yourself in the music the moment you own it. You better never let it go. Go. You want to get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Here's the light bulb. Right at the very top. Yo. That was uh, the new Eminem lyrics there. <laughs> I'm clever. Keep going straight. Um, you're going to go past what looks like cupcakes or something. So just keep heading straight. We're going into a house or past the house to hit another light bulb. Again, I think you can fall off there. So just be careful. Uh, just in case you do. And then we can just head back straight past the... Okay, they're not cupcakes. They look more like statues. That's that's just my fat ass thinking it's all cupcakes. Yeah, well, I bet, I bet a lot of you were with me on that one. 
<laughs> so just keep going back. We're basically just going back the way we came for the minute. Only this time, we are not hitting the wire. We're going straight into the new pipe that we haven't been down yet. And in fact, we're just, we're pretty much ending the game. We are actually going to pretty much end the game right now. So again, just keep going straight. Nothing else to do for the time being. You can see a light bulb. You probably see it just on the right hand side. There it is. So this is the last light bulb. I'd say the last one. We actually need, this is the one that disconnects the electric there on the right hand side. So. Instead of going back on yourself, just go forward and slicely, dicely kill yourself. You will start at the beginning of the chapter again, but that will just save a hell of a lot more time than backtracking and going back on yourself. So when we do that, hit this first wire again. That'll straighten up the track, uh, which will order it in order for us to go basically straight. Now we can finally get rid of this final light bulb that plagued us, laughed at us earlier on. Probably didn't, because it's just a light bulb. Again, be careful, because you can fall off. And then once you've hit that... ta -da! That's pretty much done. We are now done. All we've got to do is just follow the train tracks a certain way. And I'll get to the end of the, the game. Little cutscene will happen. Last achievement will unlock. And that'll be a nice, easy game. So, uh, hit this wire once again when we get back to it. That will get the train track up. And that will make us go down. Hit this next wire set of wires as well. In order for us to go basically straight. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Here's the next set of wires which you are going to hit as well. So make sure to do this. That's going to get us going straight rather than down. And here we are then, we are finally at the end of the game, that's it, we are, have done it. Little uh, foghorn's gonna go off or something, something's gonna pick us up, we're all good. You should now get the final achievement there, Aero Platform Keeper, and you, that should get you all 16 out of 16 achievements, so congratulations, thank you very much, there we go, 16 out of 16, job done. There we go then, so thank you so, so much for watching guys and gals, I do hope you enjoyed the game, I hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. Of course, as usual, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Guys and gals are legends, thank you so much. And, well, it's all done. We have done our duty of cracking light bulbs and stuff. Hooray! Right, I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.